Hey everyone, Austin here with Carlson Cards. Super excited to share with you guys another PSA reveal video. Um, so this is a $50 per card order that I sent in the beginning of March, as you can see right here. It arrived at the beginning of July, so all in about uh, three and a half months. Um, I've been gone for two weeks. I got married, of all things, which was awesome. Um, that also meant I wasn't here to get my mail, so I had it held for me. Um, so I did see the grades already. I cheated and checked online because I couldn't wait any longer. Um, but it'll be fresh for you guys, so I'm very excited to share with you today. I got my Kobe Bryant's in the background for good luck. Um, so let's get right into it. So we start here with two soccer cards. This is a Ronaldo from a set called Champions of Europe. I bought a box and opened it specifically um, to grade some, all the legends I got because I got a pretty good deal in the box. Um, I got a Ronaldo, a Messi, and then in another order, I sent a ton of the other legends that I um, got. So on this card here, um, you can see very off-center, the stickers, they do grade harshly. Um, so I had on my sheet like an 8 minus. I, you know, I was hoping for an 8, but I probably expected they could have given me a 6 on this because if you look at the population, there is a lot of 5s and 6s, but it was pack fresh, uh, so the surface was perfect. Um, so let's see how we did here. I actually got a 9 on this card. Uh, super, super thrilled. Last time I checked, this is about $300. I'll be putting the prices up here with this video, I promise. Um, so it'll be a little more... Um, open to you guys on what I paid and what I um, should hopefully make on each of these cards. So again, a very, very good start here with the Ronaldo that was off-centered. Uh, next we have the Messi from Champions of Europe. Uh, close to rookies on these guys, I guess they're not technically, but a very early card. Again, a little off-centered, but overall clean. Uh, I got nine on this one as well. Again, hopefully about $300. Super, super thrilled with that grade. Um, and then here's where it gets interesting. So I have a lot of tops and tops Chrome, kind of like my other videos. This is kind of my flavor of the month that I was um, sending. And just to preface as well, this order, um, I had sent these cards before I'd ever received a card back from PSA. So I was just trying my best really on condition and such. Uh, but this card to me, I thought had a shot at a 10. I put nine plus. So um, a nine likely based on how they've been grading, but a 10 possible. And I did get a gem in 10 on the Tim Duncan. Uh, so super, super thrilled with this card. I've had no luck with tops and very... Actually, I got, I don't I think it's my first 10 on a tops or tops Chrome card. Um, so nice one to break the ice on with the Tim Duncan here. Put that in my 10 pile, 9 pile right here. I kind of cheated there, but then we got a Chris Bosh. So PSA 9. Again, not much else to say. Pretty similar borders. Um, on this one, a little off-centered. Happy with a 9. That's fine. I think I paid... Uh, Pretty cheap on this, so I'm not sure what they're going for now. Hopefully can kind of break even on that one. Uh, next, you have the Carmelo Anthony Tops rookie card. Uh, so this one I had as a 9, um, and I did get a 9, so kind of spot on here. Really cool looking card. I like the Tops from this year. The Tops Chrome is nice too, but um, something about these Tops cards, this is, you don't see them as often. I just like the look of the design. Next, we have the Dwayne Wade. Um, so this card again is the tops you see with the uh, Carmelo right here um, Kind of weird. He's not in the NBA jersey, but still a cool card still fetches a pretty penny as a 10 um, So they get an 8 on this one, but I, I did see why you know you kind of see the off-centered here and I did mark that was a little surface problem on this card probably not one I would have sent um, at this point now after I've gotten some orders back But you live and learn um, and again, maybe even break even on this card I can't imagine I paid more than ten fifteen dollars on the grading at 50, I don't know, maybe this is 40, 50 dollar card, so you're kind of close to that value right there. Next we have an Allen Iverson. Um, this one again I thought was very clean. I didn't I couldn't find anything wrong with it, but I thought that about my other order where I had a top sale on Iverson, I got an eight on it. Um, so this one centering to me, flawless, surface looked really nice. And I did pull another 10. So super, super thrilled on this. I haven't been seeing great things with tops cards recently in orders, but to get two tens so far out of you know, I think it was five cards here. That's that's great to me. Um, and this well and above pays for quite a few of these cards here. Second to last here, we have another Yao Ming. I have not had luck on these. I've sent, I think three I've gotten back already. I've gotten nines on all of them. And I kept the trend here. Uh, a little off-centered, but I just think I'm just not hitting on it yet. I think I will get a 10 eventually. I'll keep sending these because the margins are nice. Um, but again, nice card. I like the Yao Ming. I prefer the Chinese card because I think that's more desirable for a lot of people. Um, but a player that a lot of people know and again, holds very decent value. So next we have a Paul Pierce. This is again the Topps Chrome. I've had good luck with these. I've gotten nine, two nines and an eight. Um, that's kind of what I was going for with a lot of these was the nines make you money. The tens are, uh, you know, five, ten X your money. 
Um, so this one, I thought it was a nine based on the centering. That's what I had on my sheet. I think the 10 rate is about maybe 15 to 20%. Not a lot of cards get 10s. So I did pull a nine. Uh, happy with that one. Um, so overall here on the order, not too bad. I did only get one eight. And I got the two 10s on the Allen Everson and the Tim Duncan here. So that's really nice. I'd consider the Ronaldo and Messi big wins at nines just based on how PSA grade stickers. And if you look at the population on these, it's really tough. Um, these might be ones I sit on or maybe sell or trade one of them and keep the other. Uh, not sure which one I would keep. If you want to comment which one out of these two you would keep if you kept one of them, let me know. I know Messi just won a championship, so that could help. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad I hopefully got a chance to add the prices of this one for you guys. Um, and then I might do a little part here at the end to kind of go over the numbers and just kind of analyze, uh, you know, the value, the price paid, uh, value of the cards where they're at now, um, and kind of see what we had for a profit on this order. So again, thanks for tuning in. Hoping um, you guys stick around for some videos in the future and feel free to like and comment if you have any suggestions for next time. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping in. So like I mentioned at the end of the video, I just wanted to add a little segment here where I go over kind of the numbers from the order if you're interested. Um, so in total, we ended up, I had paid $430 for all the cards, the nine cards in this order. Um, that's about $50 a card. Uh, the grading was $53 counting shipping, um, insured shipping. So uh, we're looking at 480 total. Um, the total card value, so what card ladder and the most recent eBay sale would be is $1,700, $1,725. Um, if you multiplied that by a 13.5%, which would be your eBay fees if I took and went and sold all these today, um, that would be $233. And then total profit, you know, you take the total card value minus um, the other three numbers that I had up here. Um, you end up with $582, which I'm super happy with um, on this order because, again, I was starting out. I hadn't gotten any feedback on my grading skills. Um, so I turned $910 into um, $582 of profit on top of that. Um, so that's a 64% profit or, you know, percent gain. Um, and of course, I'm probably going to end up keeping a few of these cards for the time being, like the Ronaldo and the Messi especially. Um, we'll kind of go from there. But again, I just want to add this. I'm an engineer by trade, so I like seeing numbers. Um, and hopefully some of you do as well. So again, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it.